How many of you would like something simple that you can implement maybe even today or tomorrow to begin the process of helping you heal? We know that inflammation is playing a huge role in so many hormone resistance type issues, including thyroid. And we know that things like the inability to lose weight and decreased energy and brain fog, all of these type of symptoms that are thyroid related uh, have their roots in this inflamed cell. Well, listen, there's something that we utilize called intermittent fasting. Some of you have heard of it. Maybe a lot of you haven't tried it yet. It's really simple to do. And I would encourage you, even just three days a week, try intermittent fasting to get the ball rolling in this anti-inflammatory approach that we push so much in my practice. It's what you need to do to get yourself better. So, you know, this is one safe thing to do that can, again, get this, this ball rolling in the right direction. Here's how you do it. You want to just have dinner the night before, and then you can have all the water you want all the way up until, let's say, lunchtime the next day. For some of you, when you get good at this, you can even go from dinner time to dinner time. And so you're giving yourself this 16 to like 23 hour break where you're not eating any food, you're drinking all the water that you want, so you're staying hydrated, but you're giving your body a physiological rest. And what it does from an anti-inflammatory effect I've seen with some patients, it's really profound. And uh, you don't have to, you know, this doesn't have to be pedal to the metal. You can play around with it, stretch it out. If you're hypoglycemic and you have blood sugar issues, I'm not telling you to push past any point of discomfort where you're maybe shaky or you're feeling sick. Certainly not that at all. But just even with you, just try to stretch those times out until you have to eat again. When you eat, don't be afraid to eat. You can have a substantial meal. Make sure it's an anti-inflammatory meal because that's our approach here, right? We want to get rid of sugars. We want to get rid of bad fats. We want to make sure that the meats you're eating are clean, like grass-fed beef, uh, wild fish, free-range eggs, you know, chickens without antibiotics, that type of stuff. But all in all, the approach is really simple. Give your body a break. Stretch out those times when you're eating. When you eat, eat till you're satisfied. Don't be gluttonous, but eat till you're satisfied. And I think that you're going to find that this is a really safe, effective way to start seeing your body respond better hormonally. We resensitize ourselves to hormones. We reduce inflammation. It's a great way to jumpstart weight loss. We've seen this time and time again in our clinic. Um, the thing is, how many days a week do you want to do it? Well, listen, just try three days, like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday to start with. When you're comfortable with it, stretch it out to five days or even all seven days. Some of you go from dinner time to lunch without eating. All the water you want, remember, stay hydrated, but don't have any calories from dinner time until lunchtime the next day. And if you get really aggressive, uh, like my wife and I do on occasion, we will just go for a period of time where we just have one meal a day, dinner time to dinner time. It's not dangerous. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. It's not only not dangerous, it's completely healthy. It's what our ancestors did oftentimes just maybe they were forced into it because they didn't have the availability of food. But wow, what a powerful way to reduce inflammation, resensitize your cells, and get this thing started in the right direction to healing your body by addressing underlying causes. I hope that this was informative for you. If you, if you feel like it was, share it with other people. Hit like for us, please. This is how we're getting our message out. God bless.